Hi Aries, I hope that you guys are all doing great. I send you much love and light. Thank you so much for being back here with me for your love reading for December. If you're new to my channel, thank you for clicking on the video. My name is Lynn and this is Passion of Heart Tarot. Let's jump right in and see what is coming your way in love Aries, all right? Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like the video, don't forget to comment, let me know what's going on. Okay, you guys, before I begin, just gonna take a moment to invite the white light, the Holy Spirit. Okay, Aries, let's see what is coming your way in December. I can see some Sagittarius energy coming through. I wonder if you guys are cross watchers. You might have that energy moon or rising, or maybe you have a sad Sagittarius here. And I just say sad because if, if you guys have chosen, or if you're on the verge of, because I just see some of you are gonna decide to put yourself first, decide to do what you feel is best for you. Because it's like something that you can't keep shouldering anymore. I mean, that's what I can see. Things, if you've been in a connection and you felt like your mind was never really at ease, I see where you're going to choose to do what is best for you. And, and it's like not having the, you can't be bothered. You can't be bothered with with shouldering all of this. Ten of Wands is a very heavy and draining energy because it represents everything that you've you've um, held on to emotionally. Maybe someone brought a lot of baggage into your life, or maybe things just got complicated throughout the connection. But what you what you're starting to realize that I can see is how much that does weigh on you and how it's not even healthy for you to keep carrying that around. How you don't want to have to keep looking back at the past. I, I see where if you haven't already walked away from this person, someone, you're going to do it. I wonder if some of you watching here are like still on the fence about it. But I see you crossing that line and actually doing it. And then I know from that point that it this person just wants to prove themselves to you after that. That's what they're gonna try and do. And I know for some of you, you maybe you wanna test them like that. And then for others of you, you know, you just want to be free and clear of this person's energy. But what you, what you really need to know is, um, the, the realization that it makes them have. It does. You see this person's energy looking down at those three cups. That's a, that's someone thinking about their mistakes and, and how those mistakes cost them so much, how they, they, created a huge mess for themselves where they didn't even need to do that. And then you know what they start thinking about is who had their back, who was there for them the whole time. It's it's here again, you see that Sagittarius energy, that angel with those two cups? It's the way that um once you walk away from them, they put things into perspective especially their own behavior because I know where they feel foolish and they feel ashamed. You see that page of cups? No one wants to look like a page of cups. That's the energy of someone who's very immature, who plays games, who plays games with the heart. You don't know if you can take them seriously or not. And I know that um, once you do walk away from them, if you have, cause some of you have already, and this is what's going on with them now. Some of you are on the fence about it and this is the energy that's gonna come in for you. Then it's like, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. 
let me prove myself to you. It's about realizing um, the true connection that you guys do have. Maybe someone was just um, not as mature as the other one would like them to be. Because there's no getting around. Like, this is someone who has a lot of growing up that they need to do. And as soon as they're released out of the connection, it's surprising the way that they snap out of it so quickly. Do you, you know what I mean? It's, it makes them realize a lot. So if, if for some of you, you've already walked away from this person, it's important for you to know that's what's going on with them. They're not... Um, I don't know what it is that they're showing you, but what you need to know on the inside is someone who is incredibly sad and just is thinking about what a mess they made of things and is still holding on, hoping that you, hoping that they'll be able to change your mind, be able to change the way that you see them. Cause it makes them think about Everything that you've given to them, everything that you've invested with them and how that's they barely gave you back what you were giving to them. But then there's a big shift in the tables turn and it makes them. It, it, it just makes them want to prove themselves to you and it makes them want to. Of course, get you back so they can see all of the plans come to fruition it's realizing like i don't i don't want to let this go i don't want to lose it i don't want to lose you so it's important for you to know that is how they feel that's what they're thinking about and the fact that i see this page of cups in reverse with the seven of pentacles that is real that's sincere the the growth the realization Okay, very interesting. Very interesting, Aries. I want to look at this 10 of wands. So what you need to know really is if you are thinking about walking away and you, and you don't really know what the outcome will be, it actually has a really positive outcome on getting this person to wake up. Scorpio's energy is coming through, you guys. Um, you guys might be cross watchers. Maybe you have that moon or rising. Maybe you have a Scorpio on your mind. I just see um, the energy of really taking a step back. And it, it really is because you can't be bought, like can't be bothered holding on to all of this anymore. Take, you, you know, even though you take a step back, there is still something within you that wants to see this person step up to the plate. Deep down hoping that if you do that, that will be the result. Because I still see where you guys, even though you take a major step back like that, that night of um, Pentacles, it's still thinking about what could be. So all is is not lost. And some people learn faster than others. Some people don't need the breakup to, to go on and on and on. I mean, for some people, some people learn faster than others. That is, that is what I will say because I see a huge shift, like the way that the tables turn. And it's a huge realization. Okay, I want to look at this page of cups. I mean, that's just what it is. You see that 10? It's like um, you guys will finally get on the same page. You want to um, just release what you've taken on, uh, you know, being involved with this person. I know it's not all bad. Otherwise, you know, you, you wouldn't have held on to it. So there's definitely like beautiful times that you guys have had. But I know like um, when everything mounts on you like that, it can be hard to see those times. And then I look even deeper into your energy and see that even when you are willing to like set this down and walk away from it, there's still something that you feel is worth holding on to. 
it really makes this person step up to the plate in a major way because eight of pentacles that is the energy of like um i'm gonna do whatever it takes to get you to look at me differently to get you to see that i that that i can be responsible that i do care that i do understand that i do think about my mistakes so they're going to want to prove themselves to you. They may, if, if you've already left them, they want to prove themselves to you now. And just seeing this, uh, seeing these energies repeating over and over and over, it just lets me know um, that's, that's the way that they see things from your perspective. Feel things and, and feel things that you feel finally empathize with you realizing what they lost and how without you they feel like they don't have direction gemini's energy is also coming through and, and just more synchronicities over and over and over they'll, they'll want to fight for it to get it back they're going to want to prove themselves to you so for some of you it may even be time for you to strongly consider releasing this person releasing yourself of, of everything that you're taking on because it shifts the energy and it makes the tables turn in a major way it makes this person step up to the plate in a major way and like i said the fact that i can see even though you take a step back you still feel like there's something worth holding on to here and a big part of you wants to see all this happen and it will happen for some of you it's already in the process of happening and for others of you it it's spirit letting you know what will happen if you walk away and it's finally they see they see um what weighs on you so heavily it balances things okay aries and um it just makes them see what a significant role you play in their life how important you are to them and how without you they, they you give them so much direction and i know that maybe they i wonder if some of you are dealing with someone that's younger or it could just be their energy is not as mature emotionally intelligent as you but there's just like this huge shift and the tables are turning Okay, Aries, that is what I can see coming through for you guys in December. I send you so much love and light. Please let me know what is going on. Like, have you guys already walked away? Is this person stepping up now? Okay, I love you guys so much. Please don't forget to check out your reading from last week and the week before. Happy holidays to you all. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like the video. Thank you again, Aries, for everything. Thank you for your time. I love you so much, and I will talk to you in a couple days.